Hello and welcome to a new Precious Plastic video. In today's video we would like to introduce you to the Colombia series. For the past couple of months we've been traveling all around Indonesia to really cherry pick the best, most impactful and inspiring recycling stories from across the Indonesian archipelago. And I personally really hope that you enjoyed the series and please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it and how we can make it better. But today we are here to talk about Colombia. For the next eight weeks, we're gonna take you on a journey across Colombia to meet and learn from the very people that are taking it onto themselves to tackle the big plastic waste problem using precious plastic. Colombia is an incredibly beautiful country in the South American continent. However, like many other beautiful places in our planet, waste is managed in a less than ideal way. To date, in 2023, still less than 17% of all waste is recycled in Colombia. And that includes paper, aluminum, organic, and plastic waste. And when it comes to plastic, there's not even enough data to be able to tell you how much plastic is being recycled. Bogota and other major cities, they kind of have a collection system in place. However, most of the work is carried out by the informal sector, which currently employs over 50,000 people across Colombia. And they are really doing a phenomenal job at alleviating this problem. However, so much more is possible and can be improved. We're gonna start our journey from Bogota, the capital, where over 10 million people live squeezed in this big plain with little recycling infrastructure and tons and tons of waste going to landfill every single day. Here we're gonna visit El Tornillo, which is a long-standing precious plastic member making machines and molds for the entire South American continent. Then we're gonna meet Sahu, a company making 15,000 recycled sunglasses using precious plastic machines and molds. And in 2022, they made $500,000 using precious plastic. And last, we're gonna meet Metamorphica, a fun and colorful duo getting started in their recycling journey. Next, we're gonna head deep in the Pacific jungle to inaugurate a recycling center built with precious plastic machines. And here you're gonna learn how in many remote communities in Colombia, like everywhere else in the planet, precious plastic is still the only viable solution to deal with plastic. And while we are there, we're also gonna visit Precious Plastic Uramba, a project making tons of educational workshops, both with tourists and local kids. All right, Precious Plastic Uramba already won the prize for the best located workshop, recycling workshop in the planet. I mean, we are in the middle of a jungle. This place is absolutely insane. I'm gonna conclude the Colombia series by visiting Olas Pass, which is a project in Tierra Bomba, an island in the Caribbean. There, in an incredibly poor community, Pedro and his team are doing a phenomenal job at giving locals a reason to recycle plastic, plus giving the local kids the opportunity to go to school and have some fun surfing. And these are some very special surfboards because they feature precious plastic fins underneath. So I really hope that you're gonna enjoy this series coming up. We have a lot of very interesting content a giveaway, a couple of video tutorials, and I really hope that it's gonna help and inspire you and your project. And make sure to let us know in the comment which country you want us to visit next. Okay, see you next week in Colombia. Ciao!